No, thank you very much. We're, we're, it's a real privilege to be here. We, we, we are delighted and pleased. We're sorry we're so difficult to work with, though, because we, we, are, we are all prima donnas. It's, it's prima donna, I think. Plural. Hello out there in internet land. We're Drama Rama, and we are at Wolfgang's Wall. This song is called Work for Food.
very much. Uh, this one's called Up To Here. <laughs> This one, this one, this one, this one, this one is called Last Cigarette.
way, but I don't feel like you're old Flynn. Got no computer, I can't type the letter N. Hit it on responder, right? I guess I better start again. Hungry, got a dozen miles of feet He asked for money for a bus pass My heart beats And I throw him a dollar It's exactly what he needs to get Another jug of thunder But I'm not drinking But he asked me for it. Last cigarette Last cigarette Last cigarette One before I go to bed Last cigarette Last cigarette Last cigarette One before I go to bed Children in a bed We check the sports And the weather And the living And the dead You don't have to Hear the headlines You can hear what Jimmy Kimmel said Or Conan O'Brien Oh Mr. Sam Man won't you listen To me please I'm saying I stand there But I'll pretend I'm on my knees And brand One for my hunger And another for my greed And just forget About my envelope And give me so I decided to sit down. This one is called Anything, Anything. Tonight 
everyone, I'm Derek for the Cry Daddy Magazine, and I'm sitting here with John from Dramarama. A band just came through and played an awesome session for us, and John was kind of stick around and answer some questions for us. Um, so I guess we'll kind of get started. Like, Dramarama's history goes back, you know, back into the early 80s. The core started then, and uh, you guys took some time off, and um, from what I understand, you had kind of an interesting uh, motivator to get back together. If, for people that aren't familiar with that story, could you kind of let us in on how it, Dramarama came back? Into yeah. Um Late in 2003, we, we were all doing our own separate... We had all gone our separate ways, and we're all doing our own thing. We were we were still friends, but we weren't in a band called Drama Rama anymore. And uh, VH1 came to each of our individual uh, homes and or places of business, and uh, they had this show going on. It was called Bands Reunited, and mm -hmm. they kind of... Uh, the kind of uh, candid camera, uh, you know, kind of, yeah, kind of <laughs> sneak attack, yeah, ambush, ambushed us all and said, "Would you, would you get the band back together?" And uh, they, they they drove to various places of business, and uh, yeah, they, that's how we got back together. So it worked. It did, yeah. <laughs> we said yes. We, we we weren't doing anything better than this. 
And so that kind of led to uh, you guys recording a new record, Everybody Dies, mm -hmm. in uh, 2005. Um, and then uh, are you any plans to uh, record now? You have a new record on the way? Or? We do. In fact, one of the songs we played uh, at, at our Wolfgang's Vault session, session. was... Is planned for the for the new, new release. I don't, I don't, the new release, yeah. A release <laughs> sure. is a good because yeah. it's not a record anymore. Yeah, I know. Um, you don't want to say MP3. Or I'm going so. to really be releasing some files. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My new files will be out soon. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we have we have new recordings and new songs and. Uh, is there a date set for that or? No, okay. unfortunately not. But we'll be on the lookout. Well, I'm hoping that <laughs> the, the calendar year of 2011 will, cool. will, will bring us a new release. So what was it like getting back together after taking some time? I know you guys kind of played intermittently with each other, but as far as calling a drama-rama again, what was, after taking time off, what was that experience like getting back into the studio for Everybody Dies? I don't think the studio was as, 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 as different as, as playing on stage, maybe, you know. Um, we we played this one concert that, that the, one of the first big concerts that we we played was a, a festival for it was called uh, flashback uh, or something like that flashback to the future and it was you know mm -hmm. the cure duran duran echo and the bunny men psychedelic first it was it was it was a long list of of <laughs> it's of, a great lineup of yeah it was and we were <laughs> really proud to be invited but you know we we didn't expect the kind of reaction that we got from the audience when we played so that was i think enough to keep us going and uh have us the, the, you know convince us that this was uh, it, a yeah. good thing to continue yeah cool so what would you say for this new record these new songs that you're working on um as far as your sound as drama rama sound what would you say is the biggest change from say where you started at cinema verite to mm. this, this new aside thing. from my voice getting deeper and, and raspier <laughs> i don't think there really is a great deal of change in what we i mean it's the same path we're going down that we started on and uh you know it's guitars bass drums and yeah yeah what about and on like on the industry side like having grown in this industry what would you say is the biggest shift in, as far as how the music world works as as a band within everything that's changed from where you started to where you are now well obviously the delivery uh, system Method, which we've already touched on yeah uh, it's it, 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 it's when we when we started the band we went to a factory and made a 45 mm -hmm. uh, ourselves and then we made a 12 inch ourselves and we we we, we paid for the manufacturing and we, we put it out ourselves um at the time it wasn't as common as it has become in in the, in the digital age for people who are and now everybody is uh you know releasing their own recordings and and you know it, it the technology has made it a lot easier for people to do it but what i find is really strange at least for me is the um Commercials, Every, all the bands in commercials and advertisements. I mean, there have always been music in, in commercials, yeah. but now it's like the way to get your song launched yeah, is to get like, it in a, in a brand. Yeah. I feel like yeah, TV commercials, films, are like that's like the new radio. Like that's where bands break nowadays. So. It absolutely yeah. is. I think it had everything to do with what uh, Phoenix did mm -hmm. um, last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Um, so I know that uh, you the band is very closely tied to anything, anything which you played for us, and it still sounds fresh and great. Um, and so I guess maybe that already answers my question, but um, is what's your relationship today with that song? Is it something you feel an obligation to play, or you still get a kick out of, of playing it? It's it's fun to to to, to play any song. It's 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 miraculous that anybody ever knows a song that you wrote. That are you know, in, in speaking in my my case, that I wrote, um, "Strangers on the Street" know that song. People don't know the name of the band or the you know, the name of the record even, but they know the song, and uh, it's 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 miraculous, you know, to think that a, a little rhyme that you put together, yeah. you know, and then twenty five years after the fact, it, the, that it's still on the radio or that we're still here doing this, talking to you, or doing a little session like that, or playing a concert tonight is. You know the, the shelf life of rock and roll bands, even the best rock and roll bands, don't isn't isn't generally twenty plus years. Yeah, well, it's great to hear someone so gracious about having those kind of moments. It's, oh, it's nice. We're, we're, it's, it's, I always say it's easier to win the lottery than it is to to make a living being in a <laughs> rock and roll band. Oh, I believe it.
Um, so I guess you guys are on tour now and playing dates. Uh, what can fans expect from a drummer on the show in 2011? It's old, new. Uh, you know, we don't do we don't use a set list. We we kind of just we have four or five hours worth of music that we can play, and and any given night we'll we'll play as much as we can squeeze in there. Awesome. Well, from the vault session that you guys did for us, it's. Uh, an indication that's definitely worth checking out. So be sure to do that, Dramarama. I'll have tour dates available on their site. Uh, you can check the Vault Session out for great songs. Um, John, thanks for coming in. And uh, to the rest of the band, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, be sure to watch the rest of the songs. Thank you, sir. Thanks.